Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. All righty. We, we're, getting, we're getting there. Yeah. <laughs> we, we got, we're getting direction from the back, right and left, <laughs> telling us what to do. And so half our head may be gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's a, we, we had a good time in Tunica. Yeah, a real good time. I yeah. came back with a sinus infection. I, I got the same thing last year when yep. we went down mm -hmm. there. And you got it while we were, were there. there. Yeah, you're right. So that place is, uh, I don't be know. on cotton fields or something. Is that, it, it's there. something in All the air because it, yeah. it flat got me. It, it really tore me down. But we're here. We're going to get it done. We got a great show planned. And we'll get on with that when you do your deal. We'll be right back after these messages. Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KB Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book, too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Seabrook and see what being number one is all about. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you'll own one tomorrow. That's a fact. Two-time world champion and world grand champion Joe Hall is now standing at stud during the 2023 breeding season at Precious Memory Farm for $750. Contact Daniel Miller, 931-703-5830 or Shane Porterfield, 615-809-4257. Joe Hall is now standing at stud at Precious Memory Farm. All righty, you're back. Yes. I'm going to tell you, they, they, I've seen a lot of good horses. Some of them didn't win, but some of them I thought maybe should have won. That's right. You know, should have won because Brian Reese was on a super, on really super good, good two-year-old. Mm -hmm. And uh, But there was other horses that just stood out oh, this yeah. weekend. They was... They had, getting, bunch, pretty good, they had a bunch of good horses up there. A bunch of good horses. Koufax. Yeah. yeah he was, he was tough. Good. And he, he, he made a great show. And then we have our old legends like Mr. Heisman. Yeah. He's always going to make a good show. Megan made a good show in that class. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. Made a super socks appeal. Yeah. You know, that right there was a flip-flop to me. Because you look at Megan's horse, the way it went, and the way that Heisman went. You got two great horses yeah. doing two different, different years. I mean, they're looking, mm -hmm. they look great in what they're doing, but that really comes down to preference. Yeah. 
Would and you if lie? I'm not mistaken, she got a first place vote, I believe. And uh, right so, because she, she looked good, but Heisman goes a little tucked and fluid, and Socks Appeal has his head up higher, nodding, but he's, he's up here. So it's it comes down to he's, he was he made a good show that night. Megan made a real good ride on him. Well, in the coming months, we're going to be showing some video of some great horses that didn't win. Yes. And you can bet he's going to be one of them because he looked outstanding. Yeah. Just like Brian Reese's horse looked outstanding. Yeah. Uh, but you had some out there, some first time that they were showing. Uh, there, there was a lot of they had a bunch of good horses out there. They had a good show, a real good show. Well, it's just, uh, I keep looking back on it. I know that the government was there, and any time the government was there, we've always got uh, questionable violations. And it, it gets pretty silly, but when the government starts nitpicking, it's a whole lot worse. Yeah. And they put pressure on the DQPs that, and a lot of people don't realize this, so I, I want them to know that normally when we have a inspections, the DQPs look at it and, and they give an honest inspection. And they, sometimes they still get one that they question, you know, whether or not this horse was out. But when the government comes and you got the government watching and the government with their threats from text messages to just like he went and got a report, he wants to see who the hot horses are. That's this meeting beforehand yeah. when they go get the entry forms. The only reason they're getting them entry forms is so they can target horses. And if they say that it's anything else but that, I will call them a liar to their face, which is what they're doing. It makes no sense, they don't need the entry forms there. The people in the inspection area show how everybody All the information that they need, yes. They got all the information they need. They need that so they can target which horses they want to go after. And they know it. And we know it. So th th there's no need for them to deny it. Yeah. And I know you got to be careful what you say, and I don't blame you, but I don't. Because I, I can tell it like it is and be just as honest about it as the day is long. If the government hadn't have showed up in Tunica, we may have ended up with maybe five, six violations. Yeah. And that's a fact. But when show is under pressure by the USDA to write tickets, and then they'll turn around, and even though some of the tickets that show would write would be petty, but according to the government, they got to write them. So they put undue pressure on show, which I don't think is at all right. Show gives an honest inspection until the government shows up and they're pressured to do otherwise. And then you still got to worry about what the government's going to do after you inspect. Yes. Because mm -hmm. I believe even after they pass the show inspection, even though show was writing violations for them, they still targeted a bunch of horses. And that, to me, that's just not right. They can say what they want to, they say they're trying to do what's right, they're not. The truth be known, they're doing what they're told to do, and I bet money, when they ends up in court, and that's where it's going to end up, how many of them are going to lie under oath to protect the person directing them to do what they're doing? That's what I want to know. How many of them is going to because he's more guilty than the BMOs are, in my book. Yeah. Now he really is. And it just filters down. It's a tough situation for everybody. I'm gonna tell you, it's, if you a show inspector, it's tough for you because you got to make sure that you cross your T's and dot your I's and stuff like that because you got somebody else. It's just about like going down the interstate and you driving fine and you look up and you got a state trooper behind mm -hmm. you and you look in the rear view and make sure you don't swerve or stop or do something because you're, you're nervous, you know? And that's the same way with that show inspector. When they got the governments there behind their back, they got to try to do whatever because they don't want to get in trouble themselves and lose their job or, or whatever. I know. And anything <clears throat> that's questionable, I, I, 
they're going to write. And that's not right because, in my opinion, if there is a question, it should go to the horse. It should go in his favor rather than the you other know, way. They got so many different rules that you have. You know, that's just like the high band or the lead that's sticking over the shoe. You know, them are fixable things that you can fix yeah. and stuff. You know, they don't have nothing to do with a sore horse. They don't no, have nothing no. to do with a scar root horse. I mean, but now they would write that up as a sore horse or whatever, you know, a high band or whatever. But that is fixable. You can take that horse right up over in the corner and fix your band right there and, you, yeah. and, you, and, it, and it's fixed. Well, but they don't want you to do that. It, and this is what gets me. They say you're doing that to sore the horse. Don't have a damn thing to do with sore the horse. That's right. It has to do with the band slipping up. It's just like the measurement. If the horse, his foot grew, and is a 32nd above what it's supposed to be, they want an HPA violation on that, which is, it, I don't know. I don't know, it's, it's, it's I, a I lot may, of stuff. I, if I keep on, I'm gonna say something I regret, but it, not that, that I'm afraid of something happening to me either, because they know it's wrong, and they do it anyway and strut around like they're right. Here you go, your amateur two-year-old Mary Gilno. This was from the fall classic. I'm the boss lady, and Bob Adcock as a, as a good mayor. That's right a good there. mayor, real good mayor. And we didn't see Bob at Tunica. No. Normally, I see him at the three-card poker table. Here's Honored in Texas, another one of Bob's horses. Bob has got a good strength. He'll be strong next year. Yes, very strong. He sets a good saddle too. That, that that helps the horses. Paddock Master in Kenny. He had the support of the love doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny's a good rider too now. He, oh, yeah, he does he a good job. He knows what he's doing. Getting it done, ain't he? Yeah. Yeah, but one dude you go in to train the horses for a living. Yeah. Right there's a char queen. Sam Barton made a heck of a show on that bear. Oh yeah, he did. Getting it done. I know Beth really likes that bear. Yeah. That's a nice mare. Yeah, it is. About that walk that you like yeah. to see on any of them. <laughs> and here's I Am Big Enough, Maxine Beasley. There's a, every time you see him, I mean, he's the same way. Yeah, Real nice good. horse. Yeah. Very dependable. Yep. Right there, Mayor Bill and Dan Waddell for George and Kim Lewis. From steak horse to park performance horse. Getting it done. Uh, 
nice horse right there, Jerry. Oh yeah, that's a real nice horse. Nan does a real good job with the horse. Nan have really, in the last few years, has stepped up to the top. Hey man, he ain't, he ain't took a step back. No. Uh, here's the kingpin. And Bob Adcock, you're 15 to an underwear. That's another good horse, that King Ben. Oh, yeah. Getting it done, that's what that's called. Here's Charlie Black and Dahlia Smith R. Amateur pony winner. Today is a real good rider. Here's Voyager and Paul Simons. Simmons. That's oh, another good horse right there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Paul and Tiffany Simmons. Paul's really stepped over this year. Oh, yeah, he has. He stepped up a lot. He got a good supporter, Tiffany, now. She's, she's, she's always in the stands cheering him on. That's what matters. Yep. Right there is a good one. Show Pleasure Youth. Yeah. County Green. Shane bought that one for his granddaughter. Jose and Bruce McDonald. He won two weekends in a oh, row. Oh yeah, that's right. That's that horse there is a, is a good horse. If you got one that's well trained like that, you can show him. Supporter of the industry. Oh, yeah. Right there, Parker, and remember, and Dan Waddell. I didn't see Dan in Tunisia. No, he didn't go. That was one of the few shows he was missing. One of the few. Yeah, he uses that all the time. I might have just said, hey, enough's enough. <laughs> and so we ended it but went in the last show of the year that he showed at. So what more do you want? Yep. There's no saying in baseball, in professional baseball, uh -huh. if you win the last game of the year, you were successful. That's right. Because that means you won the World Series. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what he was saying. I won the last show that was held in the Cooper Steel Arena this yeah. year, buddy. All right, you do your deal, and I believe. No, I think I think we're going to go to Tunica right off the bat. Yeah. That'd be good for you. Mm -hmm. You won't have to say we'll be right back or nothing. That guy, <laughs> that guy, miss hearing you say. They call right. him. They call him. We'll be right back, back in, in Tunica, <laughs> Mississippi. <laughs> that and love doctor. Oh yeah. Hey, this classic horse now, look there. There's Megan. Yeah. You see how she goes? And 
there's Mr. Heisman. Got two different horses going two different ways, and buddy, they were both extremely nice. Oh, both of them nice horses. Real nice. Mr. Heisman won the class with Bruce McDonald in the saddle, and he has won a world championship 22, 21, 20, 19, 18. And we got videos of all of them. Mm -hmm. Socks appeal was reserved for Megan Peoples. Cash bond and fresh, Carol counts. I'm redeemed, Denise Mabel finished out the ribbons. For all of you out, for all of you out there that don't understand what this classic horse class is. These horses are 15 years of oh, age and older. That's a fact. And um, and these horses are still going strong, still healthy, and all that. So, I mean, and they enjoy this. These horses enjoy getting out there showing. And they say we, we destroy our horses. Boy, I tell you what. It ain't too many horses over 15 and a lot of these horses they over 15 but some of them right at 20 years old they're still going husband is well i know golden sovereign was 23 the last time he showed yeah mr. right there he is mr heisman and bruce mcdonald for bruce and robin mcdonald nice horse Hey, he's a multi-time world champion. He even won the preliminary state one yeah. year. He has got it done. Right here's your amateur mares and gildings. And Bruce came right back in that class. Uptight Jose and Bruce McDonald, that's two blues and two weekends. Yeah. A neon cowboy, Brian Nichols was reserved. Wager, Karen Inman. Out of line Ritz, Jack Heffington. It's high maintenance, Donald Turner. Touchline, Carol Shelton. The Phenom, Shirley Vandergriff, and he's a war horse, Chrissy Fulcher, finished out the ribbons. <coughs> it was a real good class here. Yes, it was. A lot of good horses in that yeah. class. That right there didn't make a boo-boo, yeah. buddy. He just sat there and walked. I got horse jacks on. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the problem when you go to a horse show like this and you got a lot of good horses horse, out that's there. Right. It's it's just uh, it's kinda it's, it makes it kinda rough. Especially you staying out in the middle of that ring out there. Yeah. Show. Oh, yeah.
know, I did notice one thing. There wasn't quite as many people in the stands this year for some reason. Maybe they knew this dust and stuff was oh, going to yeah. be like mm -hmm. that. That's a new way, Jose. <laughs> I tell you, they had some bunch of good horses in there, and that night, yep. the track wasn't the best in the world. No, no. Now, as Friday and Saturday night was a lot better. That, that track got better Friday yeah. and Saturday night, but yeah. now Thursday night, it was pitiful. Yeah. The longer they went, the deeper it got. But they do so many different shows there. Yes. So I'm, I'm going to say this. The gentleman that takes care of Cooper Steel Arena, he, he does a fantastic uh -huh. job of keeping that in fit. There he is, uptight Jose and Bruce McDonald, your amateur Marin Gildin winner. Good job, Bruce. You got her done, buddy. All right. Now you can do what the, what, what was that guy say? <laughs> Hey, we'll be right back. <laughs> we'll be right back after these messages. Welcome to where the five to nine more than makes up for the nine to five. To where you check your troubles, along with your coat. And days are made, even at 10 at night. Welcome to the best time you've ever had since the last time you were here to old friends, new experiences, and forgotten cares. Welcome to where life moves at the speed of you. Welcome to Sam's Town Tunica Hotel and Gambling Hall by Boyd. Welcome to where you want to be. The Mona Dean family is proud to announce that the multi-time world champion and world grand champion minor ordeal is now available for breeding at Sugar Creek Breeding Facility for the 2023 spring breeding season. Minor Ordeal has proven year after year that he is one of the elite champions of all time winning five World Grand Championships, one World Grand Championship, and the Reserve World Grand Championship as well. Make the call to breed to a true champion, Minor Ordeal, 931-680-0897. Where does your donation to the Humane Society of the United States really go? Their CEO makes more than $450,000. Their top execs make more than $200,000 each. The Humane Society of the United States isn't even affiliated with any local humane societies and only gives about 1% of the money it raises to local pet shelters. So, if you want to help homeless pets, give to local shelters. Learn more at humanewatch.org. More of What a Horse, coming up. All right, welcome back. Now we're fixing to get with it. Yep. This is this one's a, the amateur stallions. Oh yeah. I'm gonna tell you, I really like that reserve horse. I thought that the longer she went, the more she built. All about Jose and Jackie Watley won this class, but I was watching, giving a lot of attention to Mark One and Molly Walters. Oh, she was putting on a show and kept getting better. The legal tender, Sherry Bonner, Master Cool Jazz, Glenda Nichols, and Jen Shadda, Baron Witherspoon, finished out the ribbon. But I, I, I really did. I, I like Jackie's horse, but yeah. I thought Mark won. The more, and this is the first time Molly showed him. Uh -huh. So you know she was nervous. Gotta be nervous. But she, she she is, there she is. Yeah. Now that's your first one.
It was another pretty good class. Yeah, a real good class. A lot of good horses in there. But now, Molly, I don't know, she just kept building. I talked oh, yeah. to Jimmy about it afterwards. And he said, yes, that he was real happy because he was. Now, she was nervous. Uh -huh. But bless her heart, she got out there and got it done. Oh, and yeah. she did a good job doing it. He, to me, he has a great way of going. Oh, yeah, he does. That big, broad neck. Mark one and Molly Walters. This is your reserve, but buddy. She made a good ride. Hey, I was <coughs> proud of her. Really was. I thought she did a great job of showing him. She did. For the first time? Yep, a real good job. Some of these people, they have to ride them good horses two or three times before they even yep. get a ribbon. Some others that's showing for the first time on her new horse this weekend, yeah. too. She wasn't the only one. Now she's owned him for a while. Yeah. Good job, Molly. Amateur five year old mares and gildings, and once again it was Molly Walters, this time with my honeybee. That oh, is a great mare. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The Mandalorian in Shannon Cotter was reserve irony. Skyland Wilson, Imagine I Am, Jamie Hajek, Pappy Time, Baron Witherspoon, and Honor the Dollar, Brian Jones. But that right there is gonna be the next She's Limit. Oh yes. The next Zeta, the next great mayor, buddy. Yeah, mm -hmm. There's a bunch of great ones out there. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just name them, but this one right here is going to be in there with them now. Put on a great shelf. I don't know if Jimmy has taught the honeybee to canter. And I do know that Pocahontas can be. Yeah. Look at there. Amateur five-year-old Mary Gilder winner, my honeybee, and Molly Walter. Molly Walter's family. I did an interview with her, and uh, which we're going to be showing in the weeks to come but I'm here, we may have it next week, but buddy, she, uh, it was joy to do an interview with her. Mm -hmm. Well, you know that you did get it. Oh, yeah. This is my cameraman. <laughs> Fifteen two and under stallions. This is from Saturday night. Boone's Gin and Sam Martin took the blue for Mike Floyd. That was a good horse there. Yeah. Little Shady and Edgar Abernathy for Ray Abernathy was reserved. This was a small class, but it had two good ones in it. Oh, yeah.
getting in there, ain't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Sam does, does a good, good job. job. Does a real good job. But there he is, Boone's Jim and Sam Martin for Mike Floyd, your 15 to an under stallion winner. Tell you what, his boy, his little boy, got an arm on him, buddy. Uh -huh. I watched him throwing a ball out that the Cal Sonic one day or Super Steel, oh, he's something else. Boone's Gin, Sam Martin. I know Mike's happy for that. Oh, yeah. Right here is All Day Pleasure. They had some real nice pleasure horses down there. They really did. Real nice pleasure. First night out, Nally Joe Jacobs took the blue in this class. Cassia's Ritzy Lady and Lacey Matthews was reserved. And once is enough, Riley Bowling finished out the ribbon. Good horses. Oh, yeah. Place. Bunch of good horses. Well, these young ladies do a good job. They do a real good job. They, they are. Jake's trying to find him a uh, walking horse that'll do the burns. Okay. They got some out there. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, outside Fedville, they used to have a contest out there, and one of the, one of the events they had was barrel racing, but it, it was with walking horses. Yeah. And it was running walking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just flat out flying. It was pretty nice. And as the weekend went on, we got more people in the stadium. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right here is your winner all day pleasure, youth. First night out in Alley Joe Jacobs for Gregory and Jacobs. I'd put on just about any horse. Oh, yeah. Oh, so she can ride. She, she likes it. Now. Three-year-old stallions. This was a good one. The juror and Casey Wright took the blue. A mighty gin and Sam Martin was reserved. Primetime player, Mickey McCormick. Jose's snack pack, Edgar Abernathy. And the bushwhacker, Jesse Lachlan finished out the ribbons. 
Got to be straight up. I like that Mighty Jim. Oh, yeah. I liked them all, but I did like Mighty Jim. Time player Mickey was on. Mm -hmm. Walsh, Kimberly, and Perry Walsh. I tell you, they had some good breakfast there in the morning. Yeah, they did. I'd have to, I'd have to say. Right there was your reserve winner. A Mighty Gin and Sam Martin for Mike Floyd. I knew I liked him. Now I know yeah. I liked him that much. <laughs> you know, General Mighty has got a neck on him you would not believe. Yeah. Jimmy showed it to me. And oh, I told him, I said, I, I could not believe how thick that horse's neck was at the, at the main. Here's your youth ponies. And nobody could fault who won this class because, I mean, it was pretty evident from yeah. start to finish. A country lineman and B.B. Beasley took the blue. Knock on wood, Anderson Collinger was reserved. And Hank Williams, Jack Kale finished out the ribbons. But I'm going to have to say it. That was country lineman from start to yeah. finish. That was that horse was flat putting it up, picking them up, putting them down. Look there. Yeah. Fluid motion, buddy. Fluid motion from start to finish. Kids ride real well in that class. Oh, they do. They do. The twins brought me a cookie. I told them you stole the one they gave them. It brought over from me when you was running the camera. I said, they said, did you get one? I said, no, he ate them both. If you taste one, you want to eat both of them because they <laughs> taste good, I tell you. I told them they didn't make cookie factory. Look. The country lineman and B.B. Beasley for Beth Beasley, youth pony winner. I told him, I said, yeah, I said, here he ate it. They said, well, you can have another. And I, I ate it because it, it was good. Yeah, yeah, they can bake. But Jimmy says the, what they do better than anything is them Rice Krispie cakes. Yeah. He said, they're good. <laughs> and two fine young ladies they right are. there, buddy. Really is. Country lineman, I like it. 
well, you get to do your thing one more time just so this guy knows that you're on the job. But <laughs> the love doctor got something to say. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Same bloodline, same mother, same father, and here he is. Now this is the offspring. Now Hero is standing at stud at Jerry Williams' stable. Yes, now I'm gonna tell you, that's a, that's a real nice horse. That horse had an injury happen to him in the stall when he was young, um, but now I tell you, got, all, got a lot of talent, that Hero horse does. He's a real nice horse. The impact of a meal goes well beyond feeding our bodies. Food can open endless possibilities for people to thrive. Because when people are fed, futures are nourished. Everyone deserves to live a full life. And with your help, together we can end hunger. Join the movement at feedingamerica.org slash act now. What's a Tennessee vacation? It starts off like any road trip. And then, boom, adventure and thrills everywhere you look, which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind, or bring the crowd for some stargazing, or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. We've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411 and see if I can save you money on your communications. All right, now we're going to finalize the final show of the year. Yes, but sir. We'll be showing some interviews and stuff like that in the next few weeks from Tunica because we got some good interviews from some really good people. Yeah. And uh, they'll be very interesting. Uh, got Tom Mink, mm -hmm. Molly Walters. I even I even got Amanda Jacobs. Yeah. We got her. That's right. And you did one. Mm -hmm. You did Tom. Yeah. You did a good job. I, Your I'm job. working. I'm working at it. I'm Your working job. At it. Yeah. All I right. <laughs> well, we are we ready? Let's roll them. This was your youth championship, and it was a humdinger, buddy. It was a good one. Neon Cowboy took the blue in this one. But there were some other horses in here had a lot, yeah. of, a lot of people. Fun. You know, there was three horses got first place votes. Quite an honor in Maxine Beasley for Beth Beasley was reserved. A Super Bowl MVP in B.B. Beasley was third. First Lady Mul Mulatta, Scholar Wilson, and Cole Hahn, Allie Joe Jacobs, finished out the ribbons. This was really something. It's a good class. It was a good class.
But there it is. Reserve winner, quite an honor, and Maxine Beasley for Beth Beasley. Greg and I talked, and he was, he was really proud of both of those girls. Oh, they yeah. made, both of them made great shows. Made good shows. And judges were all over the place in that one, because yeah. all of them had a favorite. Nice holes. Yeah, it is real nice holes. Right here. Yeah. Super Bowl MVP. Can't ever go wrong with that hole. No. He had a great ride. That's that's all that matters. He, Yep. Greg told me that's all Beth wants is for them to have a good ride when they go out there, and they, both of them did. They did have a good ride. They were dressed for the occasion. They had a, a, um, a, a dice earrings in and mm -hmm. everything else. Well, they was ready. Here's your championship class, and I'm going to have to tell you, I agreed 100% with the winner. Oh, yeah. Koufax. And Blaze Picard for Wagerman and Koufax, or, or <laughs> Wagerman and Koufax. I really screwed that up. Didn't I? <laughs> Wagerman and Picard. <laughs> Jen Shadow and Scott Beatty for Baron Witherspoon. And Glory JC, Jeff Lockland for Jamie Chapman finished out the ribbon. But Koufax was on the money, buddy. Yep. He looked good. I'm going to tell you what, Jen Shadow looked pretty good, good too. too. Yeah. He was nice. He made a good show. <laughs> Kofax has got three good gates. Yeah. Canner and everything. Well, he's got all three gates better as well as yeah. you want. He goes right into him, doesn't find mm -hmm. it, just gets it done. Something to be proud of, right? Oh, yeah. Picard for Wagger Bunny and Picard. What is that? He's a nice horse. Yes, he is. Getting it done. He'd be going that, that state class this year. He's yeah. 
I'm gonna tell you that state class getting tighter and tighter. Oh, yeah. done blaze yep. I know they're happy 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 but well, the only thing I can say now is it's time for court mm -hmm. and I'm gonna be everybody needs to realize that right now is the time to ante up and help and if you can't then I don't have much to say if you got horses then you need to help uh, yeah because this is one battle that I think Frank Eichler has more or less just wrote it down plain and simple exactly how we can win because if you look up Penal Code 132, they are guilty as sin of breaking a lot of laws when it comes to us. And that's a fact. They knowingly altered and concealed what is actually right and correct, they use non-HP violations to pad their violations. They have done more to alter the Horse Protection Act in a way that it will benefit them. To be quite honest, they're guilty as sin. Yeah. And I, I hope when it ends up, it would tickle me if some of them were charged. It really would, because they, they deserve to be charged. When you try to go above and beyond to destroy an industry, you need to be held accountable. My work, they need to be held accountable. Other than that, next week we'll be back with some more victory passes yes, sir. and some good interviews. Yep. See y'all next See week. See you later. Have a Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunker down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.